So on the previous video, you guys seen me at a tire shop. Well, my steer tires ended up getting a weird cupping, uh, kind of a pattern on the outside shoulder. And then on the inside as well, they got like a weird wear pattern. And on my passenger side, both shoulders were wearing way more than the middle. So you don't play around with steers. I put another set of steers on it and our tire guy suggested i get the truck aligned so he gave me um a contact number to a guy named mike aka bear and man i gave this guy a call i was very skeptical i was like man here's my situation he said look cam this is what i could do for you if you're at my shop at 4 a.m the next morning i'll i'll get you fit in i said hey man as long as i'm on the road um, by five, uh, I gotta, you know, go get loaded by six. That'll work. He said, man, no problem. So he got me in and out 45 minutes. And, uh, like I said, man, he really took care of me. Uh, he said my outer, uh, tires were, or my tires were basically towed out a little Your bit. So he got me all squared away. And I hope Easy that enough. solves the issue with the tires wearing super, super rough. Um, I think a lot of what happened was when I went to polish this last couple months ago, we didn't balance the wheel, the tires when they went back on and we kind of just, like I said, just tossed them back on. And I feel like a lot, a lot of what happened was they were just out of balance. So anyways, here we are hauling a load of steel, um, before we do a trailer swap, uh, we're heading to LA, guys. So be sure to stay tuned. Stay to the end of the video because we got a super, super cool surprise. Um, and it has to do with my little brother, man. Here we go. stop over here and weed real quick and then uh we'll haul ass to corning to get a wash man so this trailer i used to pull it all summer and had the quarter fenders all polished out and looking good and my wheels were all good but these wheels are they won't even they're just dull i'm gonna have them acid the hell out of them and if i have some spare time i'll just kind of go through them with my hand so <clears throat> Jeff, if you're watching this, we need to get rid of that green and tan and put my gray and black on there.
All right, back in Corning again. Just got the truck washed. Got myself a quick little subway, little six inch, and then uh, I'm gonna hit it over to Santa. Where is it, Santa? Well, I can't think of it right now. They have in and out over there. Uh, it's not San. Ah, I can't think of it. I'll think of it when I get there. But uh, truck is pressed right now. Rest out. So, feeling good, looking good. Got a haircut. <clears throat> Got the frame juking. Woo. Everything. a little bit ago i'm gonna head over and get some in and out and uh, i'm only two and a half hours from wheeler ridge i'm gonna spend the night over there and uh yeah that's been been pretty easy day besides uh it's super windy right now uh, super windy out here right now yeah we got some uh, in and out I kept having a brain fart, but I'm in Santa Nella. Uh, brain ain't working today, man. Oh, there's a cool truck. Anyways, in Santa Nella, got my in and out. Now we're gonna hit the road and uh, got about a two and a half hour ride. Sit back, relax, listen to some music. I don't know, I have uh, mixed feelings about being out, out on the road right now. I, half of me misses it, half of me is like, ah, oh, this just isn't for me anymore. Oh man, I don't know. I love this stuff, but at the same time, it's like, ah. Oh. Just, uh, I don't know. I don't know, mixed feelings. I'll just leave it there. But. Alrighty guys, so I made it to Wheeler Ridge. I'm all parked up for the night in the back of the lot. Looks like we got a bunch of lit up cattle pots over there. So uh, I was thinking about kind of peeking the corner and see what kind of trucks are over there. But uh, wipe this. Truck is still looking pretty clean. pretty cool <clears throat> good morning good morning just waking up um, gonna go shower get some coffee and hit the road my appointment is until 3 p.m. for my reload so I don't want to go into town too early and use up all my clock so uh, yeah about to get ready and roll out one thing about being in the truck, man, everything's just way messier, but <laughs> we're all good, man. Uh, time to get up, time to get up. Got my Starbucks, man. That was the busiest I've ever seen a Starbucks. They damn near needed a bouncer outside to tell people, hey, man, we're at capacity. But uh, we got it. Mobile order for the win. Kind of bypass a bunch of people. But uh, all right. Now we got about two hours till we get into L.A. La Mirada is where I'm going. Um, should be a pretty smooth ride. I got to go get some death fluid real quick over there. I'm pretty much on quarter tank and we'll go get our reload and i know the reload is going to be a hurry up and wait so i'll be there for a while I'll probably take a good nap and uh do some trucking all night so let's roll
So some of the OG subscribers will kind of remember where I was at this last time. I had the GoPro up on the van sometime last year when I was last here, but uh, we made it. And uh, get unloaded real quick. As I was saying last time I was here, um, probably about a year ago, but man, these guys are super fast. So I had me unloaded in uh, less than 10 minutes, so. Anyways, easy stuff. thing air up real quick and uh and grab my paperwork and bounce out of here <clears throat> yeah i am exhausted had a little bit of food um yeah i had a little bit of food some uber eats or whatever so that's kind of cool but um, man, these guys took a long time, man, you know, now I gotta go put some miles down, worst, worst shift to drive is like swing shift, it's like, I've been up since earlier, and you know, like, I didn't leave till like, you know, afternoon, start my clock but I've been up since early and then got unloaded came to get reloaded and now I gotta put down as I was saying now I gotta put down miles like in the afternoon or the evening tonight tonight shift it's probably the hardest miles to put down and to continue on and uh make any good progress my schedule's been so just all over the place lately. It's been extremely hard to put down the miles I've been putting down. It, it's been hard miles. Like, it hasn't been easy for me at all this last couple weeks. Like, it's like I'm getting preloaded one day, um, you know, to get up super early the next day. And then I'm just going in regular time, then I'm doing this, and then. And then this week, you know, today is Friday. So I'm like not even gonna have a weekend. So like tomorrow, I'll be home like tomorrow afternoon sometime, but like, I don't even know when. It's probably gonna be tomorrow night, to be honest. And then Sunday, I got a surprise for you guys. I'll probably bring you guys along. We'll probably break the news. Um, in this video, maybe the next video will break the news. I got a cool surprise for you, but you know, I got Sunday. I was gonna be a full day uh, with my brother. Um, very exciting news for him. So definitely be sure to stick around and and uh, watch what happens uh, for him. But yeah, I got Sunday. I'm really hoping these guys aren't even open on Monday to deliver this load. And I could deliver it Tuesday, but at the same time, it's like I want to get off this load so I can get to the money on Tuesday, too. You know, like I don't want to be sitting on this till Tuesday. But, uh, yeah, let's, let's go get paperwork, man. Let's get paperwork and uh, get on the road. I'm exhausted, man. Exhausted, exhausted. I was sitting back eating and uh, I was watching uh, a Bronx tale. Man, there's so many good gems in that in that movie that we forget about, but I was listening to that, watching it for a while. Super good movie. Turn the lights on. Nah, I can turn the lights on. Yeah. It's all right. I'll probably pull the action all the way to the back too. Not sure if I told you guys it's Memorial Week, Memorial Day weekend. Uh, I don't know if you can see those white lines on the left side over there. 
That's all cars coming into LA. I'm up on the grapevine right now. We're going down. Um, <clears throat> but you can see all the cars coming up. Just insane. So much traffic out here. I'm so ready to get back to the house, man. I'm gonna stop down here at Wheeler Ridge again. Get some Red Bull, get some snacks. Try to put down the rest of these miles tonight. All the lights aren't even on, but a couple lights on. Had a bad batch of lights. I was trying to replace a couple. And uh I don't know if it shows up on camera, but um, from the right, the second one from the right and the second one from the left, two centers are like a different amber. I can see it, but I don't know if it shows up on, on, uh, on camera. But uh, all right, man, let's go. at the home stretch now looks like we're gonna run into some weather when i get into oregon so that'll be fun this will be the last look of the clean truck for a minute but uh part of the game i guess but uh yeah we got like 400 and some miles and uh it's all gonna be mountainous until i get into eugene so that's that's fun. Most of the trip th this morning has been like pretty chill and laid back and nothing going on, but now it's time to run through the mountains. Lego. surprise for you guys do you want to do you want to tell people now tell people later do you want to show them later do you want to show them when we get there or do you want to show them when we get there do you want to show them like later later it's up to you i don't think you can i think when we get there you can see it can't really hide that. but i mean we don't have to like show everything We'll, we'll, we'll decide what we want to do, <laughs> but uh, we're going to go pick up a surprise for him, and uh, it's not a surprise for him, it's more of a surprise for you guys, but um, I'm excited, uh, I'm tired as hell, you know, like I said, I just got back from LA, and, you know, 
I've had a long week. I've worked every day this week. Um, but that doesn't matter. You know, the excitement for whatever we got going on with him is more important. So, anyways, we'll bring you guys along. And uh, you got any words for them? You got, any, you got anything you want to say? Uh, just, gonna see. Just, stay just, stay <laughs> just stay tuned. Stay <laughs> tuned. All right, man. So, uh, yeah, we're going to get up here. And, um, yeah, you guys stay tuned.